All right, so today I'm gonna to be rattle canning the front end of my car. I'm just doing the front end um, just to see how it comes out. And if I like it, I'll, you know, of course I'll go ahead and do the whole car. But I've got like four cans of white gloss Rust-Oleum. Um, all I did is scuff it up with some scuff pads and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it and just see how it comes out. Anyways, let's get at it. turning out what I'm using on the on the trim pieces is literally just uh, trim paint picked it up from the parts store it's just duple color trim bumper paint it's like a satin black kind of um, it's really hot it's really nasty out here it's humid this is all sweat I don't know if you can see this but I'm like <laughs> dripping with sweat it's it's nasty out here it's gross um, but before I finish up this little experiment I definitely Definitely want to black out the grill and the bumper, black out the grill up here. Um, and I want to do something about the where the fog lights were. I'm trying to come up with some sort of idea to, to block that off like a plate. Um, just to hide all the ugliness back there. Um, and after that, I think I'm going to call this video done. And I really... I like the way it's turning out so much that I might just keep it up and do the rest of the car. I really like the white because it covers up a lot of like blemishes. White hides a lot of imperfections. Like as opposed to black, black shows everything. White hides everything. It's it's awesome. That's why I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna go with white because if you're gonna do it yourself, white is the most forgiving color like by far. It just it looks great. And the paint actually came out good. Like there's not a lot of trash, but what is cool about, you know, doing this is it's real easy to touch up. It's real easy to buff it out and just fix mistakes after the job is done. You can go back and just make corrections. That's what's really, really cool about this. Okay, so I was thinking like, what could I use to block off these openings here? And I was thinking like something plastic, right? Something flexible whatever it is, I'm gonna have to like, you know, screw it in or something like that. And what I've been working on lately is tiling my garage floor. And I'm just using like peel and stick tile. And I had this one tile that gave me some problems and I just kind of threw it out to the side like a Frisbee. Oh. And I couldn't. Says... Yeah, sorry about that. I, I just found out that my son's teacher actually tested positive for Corona, so. Yeah, it's getting kind of scary. It's like getting closer and closer to home. Like before out here, people like here and there having it, but not necessarily like somebody directly in contact with us. This is the closest it's been to home and it's getting, it's getting kind of scary, but I think it's pretty much unavoidable. It's going to happen. I think we're all going to get it at some point. Just sucks, but yeah, my wife just came in to, to let me know. So sorry about that. Anyways, this is what I was uh, kind of telling you what I was... Uh, my plan was, I already actually did it. I made the little 
caps. God, there's cicadas everywhere. They're so loud. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, it worked out perfectly. I just cut a, a vinyl pill and stick towel in half. I run out the corners, painted it black, and put some screws in there. I think it came out really nice for little fog light caps or covers, whatever you want to call them. And you see that done a lot like in drag cars and stuff. It's just, I don't know, maybe less uh, wind resistance, maybe helps with aerodynamics. I don't know, but in this case, it was the previous owner like hacked out a hole to put fog lights and I'm just covering up the ugliness. That's basically what that's for. Okay, but anyways, a big issue I was dealing with is um, I try to go over some some problems I had with this, with some touch-ups and some second coats and stuff like that, and it just created so many issues. But uh, let me give you some advice if you're working with Rust-Oleum. It's really important not to wait too long to do the second or third coat because most likely it, the paint's going to shrivel, it's going to shrink, and it's going to ruin the paint job. So if you are going to do a second or third coat, it's really important to do it while the paint is still fresh. You know, no more than like 10, 15 minutes between coats. If you wait longer than that, you're better off just, you got to wait like something like three days for it to fully cure, and then you, you can work with it. You can touch it up, you can sand it, you can put another coat. But basically what I did is wait about 12 hours, try to do some uh, some touch-ups, and it just shriveled up. So yeah, terrible idea. But luckily that spot is behind the plate, so you can't really see it. Everything else is pretty good. I don't need to touch anything else up. But what I'm going to do is just go over the front end, polish it up. I'm not even going to wet sand it. I'm just going to polish it up and give you all some quick walk-arounds and point, different points of view. And this video is going to be done. It's all polished up there's already stuff falling from the trees on it so if you see something crazy on it it's probably just from the tree but here we go here's some some close-ups it's pretty glossy and after about 12 hours it's already cured enough to touch but like i said it's not it's not actually dry enough to do second coats on because it will shovel up um but yeah it's looking pretty good it's not perfect, but for a race car or a project that you just want to make one color, like this car was like four different colors. So once it's all white, it's going to be a huge improvement from where it was, that's for sure. Obviously, if you have something a little nicer, a little more high end, you probably don't want to do a rust only paint job if you care too much about your car. <laughs> but honestly, I don't really care too much about this one. I just want it to be one color and I'll probably be happy. But oh, this is just water. I'm just trying to show you like the gloss. But yeah, it came out pretty good. I really like the white and black. I might have that as a theme and go throughout the car. Just white and freshly painted black trim. I think they'll look pretty cool. Alright guys, I think that's going to be wrap for this video. I'm still hot and sweaty. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.